Good morning. Thank you for joining me, Pastor Zach Williams of Flat Creek Baptist Church here in Gainesville, Georgia, for another edition of New Horizons. And I pray that these daily podcasts are a blessing to you and your family. Uh, if you would like more information about Flat Creek Baptist Church, you can always go to our website, flatcreekchurch.net, and you can find all the information you need to know about us there. Uh, friends, today I want you to turn in your Bibles to the book of Acts, chapter number 10, as we continue to walk through this wonderful book of the Bible uh, and just looking at how God is moving in the midst of the early church. And Acts chapter 10 is kind of what we would consider to be a tipping point in church history. Uh, at this point in Acts chapter number 10, God is going to unveil, if you will, uh, his plan of redemption for the Gentiles. The truth is that the message of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ isn't just for the Jew. It is for the Gentile as well. And Acts chapter number 10 is going to see how God has designed for the Gentiles to come into the body of Christ. And he's going to do this in the story of a man named Cornelius and also the apostle Peter. So I want you to listen to Acts chapter 10 verse 1 through verse number 8. I'm going to read this in its entirety and then go back and just give uh, just a, a few things to consider today. Uh, the Bible says, there was a man in Caesarea. His name was Cornelius. He was a centurion of what was called the Italian regiment. So he's a Roman soldier. And he was a devout man. And he feared God along with his whole household. He did many charitable deeds for the Jewish people and always prayed to God. About three in the afternoon, he distinctly saw in a vision an angel of God who came and said to him, Cornelius, and looking intently at him, he said, he became afraid and said, what is it, Lord? And the angel told him, your prayers and your acts of charity have come up as a memorial offering before God. Now send men to Joppa and call for Simon, who is also named Peter. He is lodging with Simon a tanner whose house is by the sea. And when the angel came, who, who, or when the angel who spoke to him had gone, he called two of his household slaves and a, a devout soldier who was one of those who had attended him. And after explaining everything to them, he sent to Joppa. So here is a man, Cornelius. He's a centurion in the Italian regiment, a Roman soldier. And you notice what the Bible is saying. The Bible says that he always did charitable deeds and he always prayed to God. And so here is a man who is seeking God, a man who is seeking a way of salvation. However, the truth of God, the truth of the gospel has not been revealed to him. And so in this context, in order for Cornelius to be saved, in order for him to come to a knowledge of the truth, a messenger must go to his home. And that messenger we see in the text is going to be the Apostle Peter. Now we're going to dive deep in that tomorrow. But as we look at this today and we look at Cornelius, does he not become a representative of people all over the globe today who were praying to God, calling out to God, God has been revealed to them through nature. They know that he's there. However, they do not know him in a deep, personal, intimate way because the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ has never been revealed to them. There's been no messenger who's brought the gospel to them. And so these people, although they're seeking God, although they're praying to him, they do not know him in, in the biblical sense of salvation in the way they need to know him in order to have a deep, thriving relationship with him and have the hope of eternity. And when we think about this today, friends, we think about those folks as they are praying all over the world today and they want to know God, that they want to have a relationship with him, but they're just not sure how that's even possible. Well, two things I want to say to you today. Number one, let this be an urgent reminder to the child of God that you were called to go to the ends of the earth as an ambassador of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. 
You are to take the gospel to every nook, every cranny, every alleyway, every highway, every hedge. You're to take it to the ends of the earth in order that the world might hear the gospel of Jesus Christ and be saved. There's a world around us that's hungry for the truth. They have a desire to know God, but they can't know him apart from the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, they can know him by natural revelation, but what they need is supernatural revelation. They need to hear the gospel of Jesus that the Holy Spirit might illuminate their souls to hear of the truth of the gospel that they might be saved. And so today, friends, as a believer in the Lord Jesus Christ, you have to get serious about the gospel and you have to determine in your heart, I'm going to go to the ends of the earth and share this gospel. You have to be like my friend, Mr. Jerry Fink, who called me on the phone just a moment ago. And he said, Pastor, listen, I have a heart to tell people about Jesus. Can you help me and help others to know how to tell people about him? Friends, that is a beautiful, a beautiful heart that the rest of us as believers in the Lord Jesus Christ, we need to have. Somebody show us how to tell others about Jesus so that we can go to the world and proclaim the gospel. Let this be an urgent reminder to take the gospel to the ends of the earth. The second thing I will tell you from this text is, is this text actually bears witness of another biblical truth. Psalm 37 and chapter number 4 says, You will seek me and you will find me when you search for me with your whole heart. Friends, there are people all over the globe today. They are searching for truth. And they are searching for the way to know God in a deep, real, personal, intimate way. And the Bible says if you seek Him, you will find Him. And so there are people all over the globe today, they're crying out night and day saying, God, if you are real, reveal yourself to me. Show me. Prove yourself to me. And could it be that by you going and telling the gospel that in some way you're an answer to their prayer. You see, the Bible says if they're seeking him, he will. He will be found by them. And don't you want to be a part of that mission? And friends, let me tell you today, God is revealing himself to people all over the globe. I remember a guy that I met in Atlanta recently on the subway. I'm down there on the train, and, and, and as we're riding, there's a man there. He's got on a little baseball cap, and, and it said some words about Jesus. And I said to him, my friend, I said, I'm a brother in Christ. Tell me your testimony. He began to speak with a foreign accent, and he spoke of a time in his life when he was a young man. And he said, God, if you're real, just show me the truth because I want to know you. He said, I went to sleep that night and in a dream, a man dressed in white approached me and he had scarred hands. And he said to me, I'm Jesus, the one you are seeking. Follow me. He said, I got up the next day and I began to journey. I left everything behind in my, in my village. I began to journey after this one. And when I came into the city, I found a man there who had a Bible in his hand and he shared the gospel message with me and I put my faith in Jesus Christ and have never been the same. There's proof of one who's seeking and he's been found by God. And so friends, listen today. Don't you want to get in on this mission? Cornelius is a man who is desperately yearning to know God and he has prayed and now the angel has spoken and said, send to Joppa for one Peter who is going to tell you the good news of salvation. And Peter tomorrow, as we're going to see, is going to get on, in on what God has prepared. And it's going to be a glorious story that is the a tipping point in Bible history, as has already been stated. Friends, I pray today's, blessed, uh, today's Bible devotion was a blessing to you. And I look forward to seeing you next time.